good youtube welcome back to another video today we got black holes explained from birth to death i love space videos love videos about black holes can't wait to get into this one before we do we're getting really close to youtube partnership so if you guys could subscribe it will really help out with the channel and reaching that massive goal of mine so appreciate anyone that can do that right let's just straight to this video man black holes are one of the strangest things in existence 100%. they don't seem to make any sense at all where do they come from and what happens if you fall into one what happens when you fall into one? Oh, you come out of a different universe, man. Stars are <laughs> it's a little, it's a little warp machine, I'm telling you. Hydrogen atoms that collapse from enormous gas clouds under their own gravity. Yep, okay. In their core, they nuclear collapse fusion on themselves. crushes hydrogen atoms into helium, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. This energy, in the form of radiation, pushes against gravity. Make it just doesn't make sense how things can go in there, and it's just, like, nothing but, like... Do you know what? I've watched so many videos on black holes, right? But like, what would a black hole look like from the side? Is it actually flat? Like, obviously not that flat. It's more of like a like a tiny planet, right? I don't know. Actually, maintaining a delicate balance between we the always two see forces. it dead on. As long as there is fusion in the core, a star remains stable enough. But for stars with way more mass than our own sun, the heat and pressure at the core allow them to fuse heavier elements. Until yeah, it's just like a little planet. Giant. Unlike all the elements that went before, I don't know why. I actually don't know why I never thought of that before. I've always, <laughs> we've always just seen like black holes, and I, I know I probably sound really stupid right now, but like we've always seen black holes just dead on, right? You've never seen, like, the side of a black hole. I've never seen the side of a black hole, ever. The fusion process that creates iron doesn't generate any energy. Iron builds up at the center of the star until it reaches a critical amount, and the balance between but radiation stars, and course. gravity is suddenly broken. Of course. The core collapses. Within a fraction so of a why? second, the star oh. implodes. Oh. Moving oh, at about a quarter that's of the speed trippy, of light, man. What the feeding fuck? even more mass into the core. Stop. It's at this very moment that <laughs> yeah. all the heavier elements in the universe are created as the star dies in a supernova explosion. This produces either a neutron star, or if the star is massive enough, the entire mass of the core collapses into a black hole. Yeah. If you looked at a black hole, what you'd really be seeing is the event horizon. Anything that crosses the event horizon needs to be traveling faster than the speed of light to escape. In other words, it's impossible. So we just see a black sphere reflecting nothing. Wow. But if the event horizon is the black part, what is the whole part of the black hole? The singularity. We're not sure what it is exactly. A singularity may be infinitely dense, meaning all its mass is concentrated into a single point in space with no surface or volume, or something completely different. Right now, we just don't know. It's like a dividing by zero error. By the way, black holes do They're not so suck cool. things up like a vacuum cleaner. If we what? Wait, 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 wait. That, that's not true. So like if you go close to a black hole, it's not just going to suck you, man. That's not true. If we were to swap the sun for an equally massive black hole, nothing much would change for Earth, except that we would freeze to death, of what course. What the fuck? What would happen to you if you fell into a black hole? The experience of time is different around black holes. From the outside, you seem to slow down as you approach the event horizon, so time passes slower for you. At some point, you would appear to freeze in time, slowly turn red, and disappear. While from your perspective, you can watch the rest of the universe in fast forward, kind of like seeing Bro, into the future. Honestly, honestly, the way that works is mind blowing. It's mind blowing, right? So listen, 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 listen. You're telling me, right? Oh, it's so fucking cool and so crazy at the same time. You're telling me the way we think about time and stuff, it, it's just we, we don't actually understand it fully. Right, so like, let's say me and you, right, we're going to be aging at the same time. Different ages, but aging at the same time, right? And we think there's no way on earth you would, let, let, let's say you, you watching right now, you're 20 and I'm 20. We're both 20, right? There's no way on earth you're going to hit 80 years old before I hit 80 years old. We're both 20, born same day, everything, right? But if I go towards the black hole, you're going to hit 80 and I'm going to hit 21.
That's fucking mad. That is crazy. That that's crazy, bro. That is at, like, like what? What? <laughs> it don't make sense, bro. Right now, we don't know what happens. Next. Obviously, like it's to do with like the masses stuff and everything like that, the density and shit. But uh, or whatever it is I, I forgot what it was, but. It, it, it don't make any sense. You, it doesn't make sense. What we know about time is just... We don't know anything about think time. It could be one of two things. It's really crazy, one, man. You die a quick death. It's actually mad. The black hole curves space so much that once you cross the event horizon, there is only one possible direction. You can take this literally inside the event horizon. You can only go in one direction. It's like being in a really tight alley that closes behind you after each step. The mass of a black hole is so concentrated, at some point even tiny distances of a few centimetres would mean that gravity acts with millions of times more force on different parts of oh. your body. Your cells get torn apart as your body stretches more and more until wow. you're a hot stream of plasma, one atom wide. Two, you die a very quick death. Very soon after you cross the event horizon, you would hit a firewall and be terminated in an instant. Neither of these options are particularly pleasant. No. How soon you no. die depends on the mass of the black hole. A smaller they don't black sound hole would good, kill man. you before you even entered its event horizon, while you probably could travel inside a supermassive black hole for quite a while. As a rule of thumb, the further away from the singularity you are, the longer you live. Black holes come in different sizes. There are stellar mass black holes with a few times the mass of the sun and the diameter of an asteroid. That's and crazy. then there are these supermassive black holes which are found at the heart of every galaxy and have been feeding for billions of years. Currently, the largest supermassive black hole known is S50014 plus 81, 40 billion times the mass of our sun. It is 236.7 billion kilometers in diameter, which is 47 times the distance from the sun to Pluto. As powerful wow, as black what holes the are, fuck? they will eventually evaporate through a process called Hawking radiation. To understand how this works, we have to look at empty space. Empty space is not really empty, but filled with virtual particles popping into existence and annihilating each other again. When this happens right on the edge of a black hole, one of the virtual particles will be drawn into the black hole and the other will escape and become a real particle. So the black hole is losing energy. This happens incredibly slowly at first and gets faster as the black hole becomes smaller. When it arrives at the mass of a large asteroid, it's radiating at room temperature. When it has the mass of a mountain, it radiates with about the heat of our sun. And in the last second of its life, the black hole radiates away with the energy of billions of nuclear bombs in a huge explosion. Mad. But this process is incredibly slow. The biggest black holes we know might take up to a good old years to evaporate. Yeah, yeah, this try so saying long, that amount of when years. When the last black hole radiates <laughs> away, nobody will be around to witness it. The universe will have become uninhabitable long before then. This is not the end of our story. There are loads more interesting ideas about black holes. We'll explore them in part two. Yeah, I, I think I think they're all wrong. Go inside of a black hole and you come out of a different universe. Yep. That, that's 100% right. I really enjoy these videos. Anything to do with space, really enjoy. If you guys got any cool ass space videos you want me to react to, leave them down in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys in the next video.